In this video, we'll show you what it's like driving here in uh, in Sabah. So we'll make our way from Kota Kinabalu to Kundasan, guys. But for now, before we go there, we're gonna look for some Sabahan food. Uh, Yuva, you have any idea what to eat in Sabah? No, I just wanna find some ikan bakar, uh, and I wanna find mi kuning and uh, seafood, motherfuckers. <laughs> I think yeah, seafood. I'm surprised we got a chop and it says 90 days only. <laughs> 90 days only in Malaysia and then after that we have to get out from here. Yes. They asked us to come into the sea. <laughs> Yo, uh, basically it was that staying in your own country but you only have 90 days. So this is something to know guys. So uh, this is my first time also. <laughs> I didn't really expect that we are actually... We are actually... We are actually foreigners. a local foreigner. Yes. Local foreigner in one way. That's a good one, Yuva. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, local foreigners. Local foreigners in your own country. In your own country. Yuva, why is it so hard to get a car down here, man? Yuva. Plus, it's so costly, man. Freaking costly. Yeah. But fucking hard to get a decent price car. Yeah. <laughs> they say it's... Uh, per day, it's 160 for my week. Uh -huh. They haven't include your... Insurance uh -huh. and it's not include the uh, uh, SST six percent. So it went up up to five hundred ringgit for three days. Wow, that's crazy. That's expensive. Last time I took a car, the last time I rented a car was in Langkawi. I spent I spent only about hundred fifty ringgit for three days, guys. But in, for those who are coming to Sabah, guys, in Kota Kinabalu, uh, you're gonna expect to be spending about hundred hundred bucks and above uh, for one day for car rental. Check out this dude, man. Oh, yo, this guy. He didn't even... Wait, not bad, Yuva. Quite long. Oh. oh. This guy, he didn't even sleep yet, and he can still do a headstand. We're this all right. This is the Yeah. <laughs> this is what we call local foreigner action. Okay, boleh, boleh. 45 minutes lah. Lambat 5 minutes, discount. 10 ringgit. Abang boleh ambil masa. Satu jam pun dah ada masalah. Okay, okay lah. Boleh lah, boleh lah. Okay, cantik, cantik. Saya mau lah. Tiga hari ya. Okay, bye. We got a car. Yeah, we got a car. Yeehoo, we got a car. <laughs> so we managed to find a car after a few, a few, I would say one hour. So we came up with a good deal, although it's still expensive for a car rental for three days compared to the mainland that we usually rent. But anyways, uh, this is what to expect when you're traveling. So now we found a car, so this is what it looks like. It's a blue and color car. Okay guys, this is our car, 360 bucks. Cool. Cool. This is gonna be our home for three days. This yeah. Is, this baby be... is gonna get us around to the sun and all over right. Sabah. And a friendly tip for you guys. So whenever you guys rent a car, make sure you record the car fully. Yeah. So that no one will scam you. Alright, just record to show there's no damage when you receive and you return. In this video, we'll show you what it's like driving here in uh, in Sabah. So we'll make our way from Kota Kinabalu to Kundasan, guys. But for now, before we go there, we're gonna look for some Sabahan food. Uh, Yuva, you have any idea what to eat in Sabah? No, I just wanna find some ikan bakar, uh, and I wanna find mi kuning and uh, seafood, motherfuckers. <laughs> I think yeah, seafood. Yeah, seafood, seafood is motherfuckers. Because they are quite close to the to the to the sea, so expect good seafood down here in Sabah. I'm also expecting. I'm also quite uh, excited to eat the latok. What latok? Kan? Latok. 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 For us Filipinos, we call it the arrowhead. I'm sure you guys know what is it. It's like a grape-shaped uh, seaweed. So this is a seaweed, but it's a grape, you know, like a little mini grape. Uh, the city looks naked yeah actually guys my first impression here in Sabah everything seems to be so visible from a distance away you can see everything it's like it's like that kind of brightness that how to describe what, what can you say you are? looks more vibrant more vibrant eh? yeah more vibrant in terms of uh, you can see more on nature's view the color seems to be more blue right you can see, yeah, like, you can you see can the see. sky you can see the clouds and then everything it feels so bright we are we are speculating that it could be because there's no tall buildings here everything is quite low ah that's that's that could be a reason also they told us earlier in the airport that there's no monsoon season here it's just rainy days only 
boat boy essentially. Uh, so for those who are planning to come and dive or experience Sapa during the rainy days or uh, monsoon season, yeah, expect a dry place guys. Uh, you, you, won't, you won't really get a bad weather down here. Not so bad. I'm not sure, I'm not saying it right now because we're still, uh, still our first day. But anyways, that's what they told us at the airport guys. So there you go. Check out the brightness. Clear, beautiful blue skies. Oh, there's also traffic here in Sabah, Kota Kinabalu, very mountainous region. Okay, uh, before we make our way to Kundasam, uh, Yuva told me that the place is a cold area, guys. I didn't know that. Kundasam is a cold area, Yuva? Yeah, if, uh, if you guys have been to Cameron Highland before, uh, trust me, for me, for me personally, I feel it like it's way cold, colder than uh, Cameron Highland because Kundasang is literally at the bottom of Mount Kinabalu. It's literally just down. It's the, that's the starting point of you to go to Mount Kinabalu. But in Kundasang, it's totally different. You feel like you are in a foreign country. Me and you, we got ours already. Yes, I'm prepared, bro. Yeah. This guy prepared, but he didn't bring it. <laughs> <laughs> don't leave your jacket behind. Okay, that, that's very important. If you want to go to Kundasang, don't leave your jacket behind. Okay guys, our first day here in Kundasang, we want to try Sabahan dish guys. So, we found one place. It's either, it's either this or this. Which one uh, you, you prefer? I think I prefer it here. Let's try this guys. Yeah, huh? But it says Sarawak. Anyways, we are not going to Sarawak. Why not we stop by first in Sarawak. And then at least we experience both, uh, both states here in Borneo. Sounds a good, like a good idea. So, huh? Definitely, we should try yeah. all the East Malaysian yeah. food. Man. So before we try Sabahan food, why not we try some Sarawak Sarawakian food guys. So our first dish for today is Mi Kolok. Let's give it a try guys. Okay guys, this is my first time trying Mi Kolok. Let's give it a try. Sarawakian meal before we really experience Sabaha. Because now we're not in Sarawak, we're not going to Sarawak. So why not we just uh, try Sarawakian meal since we are in Borneo. <laughs> what a detour. Check it out. Let's go and give it a try. Mm. Quite interesting. It's like wonton mee, like Maggi also. It's got the shrimp flavor, it's got the chili flavor, it's got the herbal flavor. I'd say it's like wonton mee, guys. That's my, uh, my, my, that's what my taste buds can tell you guys. Mm. It's wonton mee, guys. It's like wonton mee. The only difference is the, the way they prepare it. It comes with soup. It comes with soup as well. Anyways, let me dig in. Hey, Yuva. Hey, Yuva, what did you eat? Ah, it's... What did you eat? Ikan bolu. Ikan bolu. Ikan bolu. Tengok. Dah nak habis dah. Dah nak habis, dah habis. Yang ni kulit dia. Okay, tengok. Tunjuk the kulit. Ta-da! Woi! So fast you ate it. This is what I hate the most. Tapak. Ah, apa? Ini apa ni? Uh, even I'm, uh, what do you call it? Sugarcane? No, 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 no. What's it called again? Eh? Tempe. 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 He doesn't like tempe. Uh, this is uh, made out of soybean. If I'm not mistaken. Soybean. soybean. Oh, he doesn't eat that thing. Now give it to me. I'll eat that crap. Okay, makan. Soybean. Fermented soybean. Mm. Fermented. Mm. Saya ini Original Sabah Philippine Orang Sabah sayang kau mahu saya sikut tu gunung Kinabalu sama sungai Bakalan. Original yo guys, original local foreigner. Yeah. <laughs> foreigner local, foreigner local, foreigner local, local foreigner. <laughs> Okay guys, as you all know that Sabah is known for its dairy products because of uh, the dairy farm, the one which is called 
there's a farm there's a farm somewhere in Kundasang I'm, I forgot what was the name but anyways this is one of the companies or the distributors who sells the product so we're gonna go and give it a try since we are in Kota Kinabalu right now in KK let's go and give let's go and taste this local milk quite excited as well because I heard quite a good review about it so let's give it a try guys Sabahan milk also known as Desa right Yuba right and uh, local sure foreigner <laughs> yeah parents teaching me about my own uh, yeah <laughs> my own place <laughs> look at the liquid gold mine Ooh, so good local fresh milk made in Sabah guys check it out they even have chocolate flavor. Hey, sorry, chocolate flavor. There's coffee flavor. Ooh, amazing! Guys. Look at that. Locally made in Sabah. Okay, guys. First mission completed. Yuva, mission accomplished. <laughs> Peace, bro. There's a uh, milk done. Let's move on to our next stage. Kundasang. Kundasang. Here we come. Okay, how's it taste, Gerald? Tastes very clean. Oh, the dairy tastes very clean. Huh? Yeah, it's a it, product. It's not sweet. It's Really like milky kind of taste and uh, it's got the cocoa flavor. It's not chocolate, it's like cocoa like that. Oh, very very clean. This very one if you're, pure. Yeah, if you're a health junkie, this is the best for you lah. Oh, so that's what's unique about this mm. fresh milky and sabah. Okay. Apa dah shake bodoh tadi? Ah, baru aku ambil shake. Tak, aku dah shake. Dia memang serpuh, mm. dia memang akan pusing-pusing. Yeah guys, he's right. It, it's very, uh, how you say this? It's plain, uh, very, yeah. very fresh. Ah. Oh. Very, very, you know, it's like very cocoa. You can really taste the cocoa in it. It's not so sweet. It's not so thick. Not even cocoa. Dude. Yeah, it's like something that you yell. You know, it's natural. You know, it's, you know, it's it's pure. It's it's plain. It's uh, raw. Something like that, guys. Fresh from the cow. Not literally fresh, guys. It came from the fridge. But anyways, uh, I spilled my shit as well. Man. White shit. But anyways, it's good, guys. This is one one product you should try in Sabah when you come and visit. You can't find this in the mainland in KL, only in Sabah. Mmm, good. Okay guys, for those who are wondering what is Kundasang here in Sabah guys Kundasang is like Cameron Highlands, like Genting Highlands, like Baguio City in the Philippines It's one of those areas that are cold in the region So these are the high altitude areas if you're planning to visit and get that cold breeze guys so now we're making our way there since just now we've been making our way to the top it's been almost an hour plus already usually in, in the was that west malaysia when you're going up to Genting highlands will take like what 30 to 40 minutes we can get up there or for cameron highlands it's like uh, three to four hours coming from kl but, but that's a straight road but when you reach the part the part where you're going up it's about one uh, one hour plus only but in here it's, it's a short distance to go to the top but it's taking almost like two hours guys Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I, I really wanna know hey, what it feel like Cameron Islands, Getting Islands Near Fraser's Hill He's home guys, local foreigners home Welcome back home Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Apparently they say this place is cold, Sometimes but look at my comrades. To them it's like, 
Yeah, it's like a hot weather down here. Look at that. <laughs> Can we also turn on the aircon? <laughs> I, I need a cold bite. <laughs> so, what is cold to them, guys? What is cold? What is cold? What is cold? Yeah. So, we took a pit stop. Yeah. <laughs> A few more cam and we reach Kundasang guys. Check out the weather. Beautiful, nice and breezy. But it's drizzling a bit. Not bad guys. We really made it right to the top. The view from here is very majestic guys. Check that out. It's also facing right in front of Mount Kinabalu guys. I'll show you right now, see? Check that out. Oh. <laughs> 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 